All right. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here at, on the computer. So here I have the dashboard platform pulled up. This is our native uh, Windows application. So I'm gonna br briefly take you through a demo video and just show you all the cool features the dashboard has to offer. And not really gonna get too much into the technicals as that's for a different uh, video. So here's the home page of the dashboard. So we'll start off by loading up the home page. And this is actually where you're going to be doing most of your um, work. So actually now we have the pairs which we can sort them from alphabetical order from the peak formation high. So as you can see, the ones that have reached their highest ADR, you can sort it with peak formation low and the most popular and actually what I use is I sort it from status from being the lowest here as the lowest peak formation is the most powerful if you are using it in terms of catching the, uh, the fastest and the uh, peak formations that just happened. So we can now click on any of these pairs. So for example, we click on USD MXN and as you can see, we actually had a PFH one, so a one PFH that actually occurred. This is from Friday. So as you can see, we had multiple entries here to actually go short this pair and we had uh, over 150 pips drop. So that's just, uh, well, dashboard today is 100% accurate if we're talking in terms of the one peak formation. Now we can click on Euro Japanese Yen and it automatically loads it up here. And we had multiple entries, which me and my team took. And now we're floating in profits. And so you can see everything. You can zoom in and zoom out. The dashboard is synced directly into our custom charts here that are powered by MMM. And so it'll automatically pinpoint all of the peak formations also on the chart via this bubble here. So you don't need to be very data um, you know, driven and you can simply just open up any pair you want. This is pound czar and it'll show you on the chart immediately where the peak formation is. Here's NASDAQ 100 and as you can see, it loads it up perfectly right here. So this is the main portion of dashboard. Now you can use your drawing tools, you can draw your trend lines, and you can really do everything on this charts as it is, um, you know, just like on any other charting platform. Um, so you have multiple different options here. You can choose whether you want uh, hollow candles, whether you want to use bars, high and ashy candles. So the possibilities are limitless. And of course, with the power of the dashboard, it's going to be a complete game changer, which it already is. So here on the left hand side, we have the trading floor. The trading floor is where I currently post about one uh, setup and I post all of my technical analysis on the trading floor. Um, you know, I, I basically give you winning trades on daily, which is included in all dashboard memberships. So if we can have it load up here. If not, I'll come back to this and see if it is loading. Internet is a little shaky on my end. Sorry about that. So we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. Here we have the calendar, which you can see. You can see the high impact news, medium impact news. We can filter it. So for example, uh, today's the 27th. I can simply filter it to only show me the high impact news. We can update it here. And as you can see, all throughout this week, I can see all of the high impact news events and I can get some more details on those just to prepare me for any um, volatile moves that are be, to be expected on certain currency pairs. Here we have the university section. All dashboard members have access to our official dashboard user manual. This is where you can actually learn all about how to use the dashboard, all the technical uh, details about the dashboard. So we have five videos here and we're constantly adding new videos every month to keep you updated with all our 
um, with all of our advanced updates on the dashboard and just to keep you informed about you know how to how to increase the profitability and just overall how to use how to know all the new terms of the dashboard. So here we have the masterclass. Now the masterclass is actually, it's additional. This is actually my life's work and it will um, further increase your Forex education and knowledge, but this is additional. Here we have curated news. So here, this is actually curated news for traders by traders. So any important news events that you want to see here, you can see all the important, um, here we have a caught report and just makes it a lot easier for you to stay up to date with all the important news. So here we have crude oil prices. And as you can see, we get into some very technical fundamental analysis, higher time frame, more of a, um, I want to say kind of institutional analysis so it's just really nice to be able to see these updates here we have some more markets ahead and all this news events that we have to access now here you're able to update your profile you're able to you know change your password all that good stuff right here we have the official dashboard chat so let's come back to the home page here so we do have a very secure encrypted messaging system within the dashboard platform. So as you can see right now, we have uh, 1,380 satisfied users on the chat room. Um, and here you can, let me move this over. Here you can upload files. We have emojis and just get familiar with the dashboard community, ask questions and there's lots of brilliant traders that are part of our team that you can uh, communicate with, build a relationship with, and uh, you know, uh, take your trading to the next level. Right here is our dashboard history, one of our most sought after features, which, you know, if look, if you don't believe, if you don't trust the dashboard, it's fine. What you can do is you can simply backtest the dashboard because we actually index all of the data of dashboard going back months from when we actually did it. So as you can see, you can come here and you can see from, this is the weekend. So here we have July 23rd, last week, July 22nd, July 21st. So you get the idea and you can actually see the data and you can go back in history on your charts and back test the data and you can see for yourself the accuracy. So the dashboard history, very important feature for all of us here. Uh, here we have the legend. So you can see exactly um, all the peaks for currencies are updated 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, indices, metals, and cryptos, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can just get familiar with all the uh, indicators and what everything means on the dashboard. So that's the dashboard legend for you. And you can mute and unmute here. And then here we're working on the private, uh, private chat system so you can uh, directly message any of your colleagues on the platform and et cetera. So that's the dashboard for you in a nutshell. Um, really hope you enjoyed that, guys. And you have a few more uh, things that you can edit here. You can change the candlestick. You can change the background. And you can just uh, play around with the charts make it suitable for you, but this is the standard view. Let me go back to Euro Japanese Yen here. Expecting this to push a little higher. Do have lots of uh, buy positions already in profits. You can change the time frame here for our charts. We have the daily charts. We have the 15 minute chart here. That's where the peak was. This is where our entry was, as I stated. And let's see if the trading floor comes back. All right, so the trading floor has loaded up here. Um, so this is where I actually broadcast all of my analysis. So as you can see, um, for example, last week I uh, posted 
GBP AUD. Here we had a new PFL1 last week. Um, this was absolutely a monster trade. We had over um, 250 plus pips on this trade. So let me actually pull this up here. So as you can see, uh, GBP AUD here, one of PFL. And I actually posted this as a buy after a stop hunt low. And as you can see, this is on the 27th of July. Uh, I mean, on the 23rd of July. And then moments later, as you can see, over 150 plus pips on this time from last week. So this is exactly where I technically post all of my uh, technical analysis with the dashboard so you can learn from my analysis and later in the future we are actually adding um, we are hiring so we're going to be hiring within the um, dashboard community and we're going to be hiring full-time traders with the salary to actually become analysts for dashboard so as you can see here's the trade for euro japanese yen that i was talking about so that basically covers everything for the dashboard platform. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the community. All right, take care, bye.